Hi, everyone. Um, so I run Silcure. Uh, Silcure is a fraud prevention company based in New York. Um, and we use online and social data in real time to figure out if your customers signing up are who they say they are or not. We do this to reduce fraud risk. We do this to increase acceptance. And we do this to reduce the cost of compliance. So this is how bad the problem is. Last year, institutions like yours lost about $18 billion to identity fraud. If you're wondering why, um, on average, it costs about two bucks to buy any of your identities, including social security numbers, and so on and so forth, from the shadow web today. Um, and that's primarily a function of the data breaches uh, suffered by credit bureaus, by financial institutions, and so on, that's exposed more than half the nation's population today. That problem is compounded by the fact that nearly 51% of the world's population, or 3.5 billion people, are millennials, people under the age of 34. There are 70 million unbanked people in this country, 250 million unbanked in Europe, 180 countries around the world without credit. So as you look at making risk decisions for these individuals, as you look at onboarding them and serving them with new products, what do you do when the existing infrastructure doesn't help you uh, address these issues? So we decided to look at online and social data for a couple of reasons. The internet's 25 years old as of last month. Most of you have a branch, a bank branch in your wallet, in your pockets in the form of your mobile applications, your mobile devices. Most of us use a lot of different mobile applications today. So given these facts and given the fact that, well, it's very easy to steal someone's identity and go about creating fake accounts everywhere, it's much more difficult to go about recreating the social proof that all of us create naturally just by living and using the internet and using these applications. Recreating the hundreds of people you worked with who vouched for you on LinkedIn. Recreating the interactions between uh, you and your friends and family on various different types of social networks at scale becomes a very challenging problem for fraudsters. So here's how the solution works. Uh, you're all used to seeing this form. It's typically how you onboard customers, you ask people to type in uh, data into a form field. Increasingly, you can also use social logins uh, to onboard your customers. We work in exactly the same way the market is currently served today. So while you might call an Experian or Equifax, um, you would call Secure and you'd pass the data to us in the same manner, securely over web services that we expose. And in real time, Secure goes about searching over 200 different uh, websites and mobile applications the entire internet, and our own graph databases. And then we discern social proof for the profiles we deduplicate, and then we return risk codes and risk factors uh, to your application in real time. So this is what this kind of looks like uh, today. If you visit our dashboard, we have an interactive documentation uh, tab. We have a couple of APIs for different types of onboarding flows. Um, this API allows you to validate people signing up on your website and mobile application using, using forms. So here I filled in a few details about myself, the city and state I live in, mo my mobile number, and there are plenty of other p uh, fields you can actually pass in. Um, and this is the type of request that your application would be making, your business logic would make to our service endpoint. When we actually click that, in real time, we get back a bunch of data about the person being onboarded. We give you a risk rating as to whether the identity is real or synthetic or stolen. So if someone tries to steal your ID and use it without your permission, we'll put a stop to that. We give you a bunch of risk factors that tell you what are the uh, factors influencing this person's uh, identity authenticity. And we also give you a probability rating on whether this identity is going to go on to commit fraud 30, 60, 90 days or more after you onboard the individual. Now for the manual review team, we also provide a bunch of information about the different sources uh, that we ended up mining this information from so that they can have some data for justification and save them time uh, sitting in front of Google and searching for us when the machine doesn't get it right. We also provide information for KYC and OFAC compliance, so we're able to tell you how well the person's name and address and date of birth and social security number and stuff go together.
So the value we offer are really threefold. Reduction in fraud, so reducing friction in a transparent way, enabling you to onboard millennials, unbanked, underbanked, and other types of people who would uh, be rejected through the traditional system. We reduce the amount of work you have to do in manual review because we automate all of that for you. And we reduce the cost of KYC and AML compliance as well. The average ROI for our customers is pretty significant. For about a million dollars in contract value for our solution, we'd be saving in excess of $30 million on average. Our solution's been tested to be better than anything else in the market, including third-party products, competitive products, and models built in-house over 20 years by credit bureaus and your own institutions. Our product is future-proof. You don't have to keep changing rules and models. Our system uses an AI that uses semantic web to learn about behavior changes in real time to prevent you from having to create rules that have to keep getting updated. We've been tested with data from 100 countries so far. We are working with five of the top 10 issuing banks, all of the major card networks, uh, three out of the five uh, payment gateway products, uh, several remittance companies, and the credit bureaus who are working on uh, channel partner agreements with us right now. So when you think about reducing fraud and increasing acceptance, you want to take on more millennials, and you want to reduce the cost of compliance, we want, to ask you, we want you to ask yourselves, not just if you're secure, but if you're so Come and see us at the booth. Thank you.